everyone, it's Luke Durden, and today I wanted to talk to you all about the benefits of completely following through with a study, an idea, or an experiment with your art or craft. See, I think it's almost natural in us as humans to form preconceived judgments on something before we even start. For some of us, that holds us back from even doing anything. And once you get past that first hurdle of talking yourself out of doing something, Within the first five to 10 minutes, we form a first impression of something. Sometimes it's even quicker than that, of whether we like it or not, or whether we're good at it or not. I think that us as not only artists, but as humans, having that can really stunt our growth. It can really hinder us from, from developing our skills and our style and our techniques. Because there's so much more you can learn through following through with something, with following through right to the end. How many books can you think of that within the first five pages didn't grab you, but towards the end is where the book really had a good grip on you and you couldn't put it down? You know, or how many movies can you think of where, you know, again, it starts really, really slow in the beginning and you can't really see the point of everything and, and everything seems so vague and as the movie starts to develop, the, the characters you start to get closer to and you start to understand their perspective and it isn't until right until the end of the movie that you maybe have a new revelation or you, you see something differently or you feel more motivated to do something. And I think for us as artists too, it's really important when you have a new technique or a new style that you want to experiment with to follow it all the way through. You know, not to throw that piece out within the first sketch of it or the first draft of it or the first trial. To do multiple sketches and trials of it, multiple renditions to try and make it work and to follow it through all the way to the end to see if there's something in there that you can take from it. And I guarantee you there is something you'll take from it, whether you succeed or fail. You'll find something that you can put into your tool belt, something that you can use on a newer project, or something you know you can change or, or fix from your previous work. So many of us hold ourselves back from before we even start, and then so many of us, when we start something, we hold ourselves back from our first impressions. And this is really just about following through all the way to the end with your idea or your exploration or your process to really see the full picture before you decide if you're good or bad at it or if you like it or not or what messages that you can take from it or what tools you can now add to your tool belt really wait until the end until you can really write your report on it thanks for watching this video all the way to the end if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like. I want to hear in the comment section if this helped you out or if you have a different perspective to look at it. I'm really interested to know. I make a new video every week, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get notified as soon as I drop a new video. Thanks and have a great day.